Welcome to the Do Better Podcast. I am your host, Theo Coop, and we are back with another video. Please hit the like button, subscribe, notification bell. It's free, bruh. Will Smith apology video. Let's get to it. Woosa, Theo. Woosa. Why didn't you apologize to Chris in your acceptance speech? Um, I was fogged out by that point. It's, 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 it's all fuzzy. I've reached out to Chris um, and the, mes the message that came back is that uh, he's not ready to talk. And when he is, he will reach out. So I will, I will say to you, um, Chris, I apologize to you. Uh, my behavior was unacceptable and I'm here whenever you're ready to talk. Couple things. He brings up the reason he didn't apologize to Chris Rock initially was because he was out of it at the moment. I believe what he's describing is blacking out from anger. I'm not making excuses for, for Will Smith's actions. Come on now, don't be ridiculous. Where they've ever blacked out from just pure anger. It happened to me once. That's why I, I kind of know what he's talking about. Here's, when I was 15 or 16, I got into a fight in high school that literally changed my entire outlook on life. During that altercation, I got so angry that I blacked out. So till this day, 20 something odd years later, parts of that memory is fuzzy to me because I was so angry I blacked out. So going by his words, I'm assuming that's what um, happened to him. Again, not making excuses for it. And then the other part that I wanted to speak on is the part that I actually really like about this story. You guys can call me, <laughs> maybe I'm a negative Nancy or whatever, but I like the fact that Chris Rock didn't accept his apology. And the reason I say that is because, and this could be, this is totally my opinion, is not saying it's a fact, but it seems to me that in 2022, we live in a society in which someone can wrong you, they'll acknowledge that they were wrong you, even apologize to you, but you're automatically expected to forgive them. And that 1000% should not be the case. If someone wrongs you, you don't have to forgive them. Um. I, I want to apologize to Chris's mother. I saw an interview that Chris's mother did. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that was one of the things about that moment. I just didn't realize, and, you know, I wasn't thinking, but how many people got hurt in that moment. So I want to uh, apologize to Chris's mother. I want to apologize to uh, Chris's family. Uh, specifically Tony Rock, you know, we had a great relationship, you know, Tony Rock was my man. Um, and, uh, this, this is, this is probably irreparable. You brought up Tony Rock, for those who don't know, Tony Rock is another stand-up comedian who's been in the game for a long time. I'll put a picture up because even if you guys don't recognize the name, like Chris has a brother, um, you guys probably recognize his face. You're into stand-up comedy of any kind. And Tony Rock did, did stand up right after this and was like, Rock Boys, it was like 10 of them. I didn't know it was that many of them. They were going to fuck Will Smith up. Let's set some ground rules right now, y'all. Let's set some ground rules. If I say anything tonight, anybody got a fucking problem with? You got one motherfucking option what you could do about it. Absolutely nothing. Because if you think you're going to walk up on this stage, this ain't the motherfucking Oscars. And if you walk your ass up here, you ain't nominated for shit but these motherfucking hands. You wanna hit my motherfucking brother? Cause your bitch gave you a side eye? Oh, it's a lot of rock brothers. Y'all ain't know it's a lot of rock brothers. It's 10 of us, motherfucker. You about to see all the rock brothers. I wasn't aware that Tony Rock and Will Smith were so tight. I spent the last three months um, replaying and understanding the nuances and and the complexities of what happened in in that moment um and i'm not going to try to unpack all of that right now but i can say to all of you there is no part of me that thinks that was the right way to behave in that moment there's no part of me that thinks that's the optimal way to handle a feeling of disrespect or, or insults. 
what he just said is exactly what I wanted to hear. And I'm not saying that like he owes me an apology or any silly shit like that. I'm just a guy talking on YouTube. If I was involved in this incident, if I was Chris Rock, not to say that I would be entertaining anything this guy was saying if I was Mr. Rock, but if I was, that part that he just said is what I would have liked to hear in this statement after Jada rolled her eyes, did she tell you to do something? <laughs> no. Um, it's like, you know, I'm, I made a choice that, on funny. my own, from my own experiences, from my history with Chris. Jada had nothing to do with it. And that's funny to me, BBA, for a couple reasons. Regardless of this situation, this situation put Will Smith in a horrible light. But I think it's fair to say that this dude spent three decades perfecting his image. You never really know these people personally. I have no idea how Mr. Smith is as an individual, as a person. I don't know that man. But I think it would be a fair assumption. You guys let me know if it's not. But I think it's a fair assumption to make that the overall opinion of Will Smith is that he's a pretty decent dude outside of this incident. So I said all that to say this. Will Smith is not the type of dude. He's not going to throw his wife under the bus, y'all. <laughs> oh, my God. Is he going to say it? He's going to finally blame Jada? No, he's he's not cut like that, man. If people were actually expecting him to throw his wife, he's like, yeah, this is this bitch over here. I want to always get me in trouble. Like, no, man. Uh, I'm sorry, babe. Um, I'm going to say sorry to my, my kids and, and my family for the heat that I brought on all of us. Um, to all my fellow nominees, you know, this is a community. It's like I won because you you voted for me. And it, it, it really breaks my heart to have stolen and and tarnished, tarnished your moment. And that's another great point. Uh, I, don't, I don't really follow the film or television industry like that. So I never know when these awards are going down or ever waste time watching them or anything like that. But he makes a good point because I believe it was... Um, What's my man with the fro on the band? Quest Love. Uh, Quest Love, I believe he was in, it was his night. He won a war. And if I'm not mistaken, Mr. Smith won an Oscar. I believe his first Oscar. So the, the slap heard around the world pretty much ruined everyone's night. I can still see Quest Love's eyes. You know, it, it happened on Quest Love's uh, award. And it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry really isn't sufficient what would you say to the people who looked up to you before the slap or people who expressed that you let them down um so there's two things one um disappointing people is my central trauma um i hate when i let people down um so it it hurts. Uh, it hurts me psychologically and emotionally to know I didn't live up to uh, people's image and impression of me. And the work I'm trying to do is I am deeply remorseful and I'm trying to be remorseful without being ashamed of myself. Right, I'm a human and I made a mistake and I'm trying not to think of myself as a piece of shit. Um, so I would say to those people, I know it was confusing. I know it was shocking, um, but I, I promise you I am uh, deeply devoted and committed to putting light and love and joy into the world. And, you know, if you if you hang on, I promise we'll be able to be friends again. Uh, Will Smith seems like from that apology he seems sincere. He seems he showed a lot of contrition. But at the end of the day, I don't care about Will Smith. I care about Chris Rock in this situation. I saw a clip one time. Chris Rock being interviewed. It was recently too with Howard Stern. Just a small clip. I'll go ahead and play that clip real quick. Every day was hell. I was a nigga and I got fucking my ass beat and I got 
physically fucked up and sometimes some sexual shit happened. And yeah, like I wasn't rape, but rapish. Chris Rock was bullied, just like a lot of us, man. I think Will Smith even said in an interview that he was bullied, but Chris Rock was bullied and I'll get a little vulnerable. I was bullied as well as a kid. The difference between me and Chris Rock was that, well, nobody put hands on Theo Cool. <laughs> I'd fight you, even if I was taking an L and I took plenty. I let kids verbally bully me when I was when I was a child. I wouldn't let a kid physically bully me. So that's probably our biggest difference between myself and uh, Mr. Rock. Hearing that video, knowing that that man probably has a lot of trauma, and I'm sure you know since he's made money and been in, been, been successful, he's probably seen specialists, therapists, and you know probably addressed a lot of that trauma and worked on it. Only for him to get humiliated, to get assaulted at nearly 60 years old in front of the entire world to see, man. Do you know how devastating it has to be? And that probably took him right back to the high school days, man. I feel like Chris Rock is the victim here. And it's it's not about Will Smith. It's not about Jada. It's not about that goddamn red table talk, the view, whatever other bullshit show she has. Chris Rock, keep your head up, bro. And I hope that's one of the lessons that people take out of this, that you don't owe someone forgiveness. But, but hey, what the hell do I know? I'm just a dude talking on YouTube. Theo Coop, the Do Better Podcast. After parting in the comments, I'll catch y'all later. Do better.